The trees here behind me are Pinus resinosa, red pine. There are three species of Pinus in Wisconsin, the red pine, the white pine, and the jack pine. <laughs> Let's talk about how to tell those apart. The needles of red pine are dark green and in stiff clusters. They're in fascicles of two, meaning they're clumped together in pairs of needles, and they can be up to six inches long. The only other native pine in Wisconsin with two needles per bunch is jack pine, with needles only around two inches long. From a distance, the bottle brush-like bunches of needles at the ends of the branches make red pine easy to distinguish from white pine, which has a softer feathery look. Here are the male cones, small and crowded near the ends of the branches. The female cones start out green and resinous and become hard and woody. The mature cones are two to three inches long and egg-shaped. Each woody scale bears two winged seeds that are wind dispersed. Red pine bark is distinctly pinkish and it's one of the easiest ways to tell this pine apart from others. This tall, straight trunk makes red pine an important tree for the production of pine lumber. Red pine has a broader ecological tolerance than either white pine or jack pine, Wisconsin's two other native pines. It will grow from dry, sandy places to more mesic forests, although its range is restricted to the Great Lakes region, including southern Canada and east to New England.